Bam, bam, chin. Mom, spaghetti, he's no. Reese can try to rap. But he keeps on forgetting what he wrote. Broke down the hope. Sloppy. Actually, that hurt. Why? My ass was. <laughs> um, with this is fun for you? Welcome. Welcome back. I can tell you're getting a little flustered. I'm nervous. Today so we're gonna be demonstrating a little uh, yellow curry uh, that we used to prepare at the restaurant. Now we will be returning to the menu when we reopen. You Sorry. made me lose my train of thought. <laughs> That's. Sorry. It just is incredible how. Here's the yellow curry with Reese McIsaac with lobster. With lobster. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so we're going to we're gonna cook this lobster. Yeah, sorry, can you just give me some king space, please? Can I have a word with you for a second in private? Okay, let's just drop it. Uh, we'll talk about it later. Yeah, we'll talk about this later. So we've prepared a corporillon with uh, our secret blend of herbs and spices. How many? And how many? There's about four. I, I can't, last time I checked was 47, but. So what we're gonna do is, uh, Take our court bouillon at a rapid boil. As you would. So what he's doing right here is he's taking um, a skewer and skewering the tail. So when it cooks, what lobster tails want to do is they want to curl up. So this is going to straighten it and keep it in a uniform straight shape. For these claws, we're going to pour the pour the hot court bouillon water over and leave it for about six and a half minutes. There's a little bit of vinegar in here as well to help uh, the coagulation of the proteins. Six minutes for the claws. And then about three and a half for the tail. Three and a half for the tail, set. I'm just gonna get these. Wow. Yeah. That's bunny. insane. Now we're gonna start with the yellow curry. This is honestly one of my favorite sauces. It's so tasty, you can do it vegan. It envelops your mouth with so many different flavors. It's so delicious. It's like liquid gold, you know? You wanna keep that stuff. I don't think you're recording. Camera's I don't on. think the camera's on, dude. I'm so fucking nervous. This is the first time I've ever seen you be camera shy. Me? Yeah. It's just been a while. I'm rusty. What about the other night? I thought we were going to talk about that. Mic's off. It's off? Mic's off right now. Oh, okay. Yeah, so. Bro, I'll show you that. I was not cutting. This is live right now. This is, this live? is live. Yeah, we're not I'm cutting on... shit. This is on my live Instagram feed. So we pulled our tail out after uh, three and a half minutes. As you can see, it's gently cooked. We have the claws. Explain the process that you're going to be doing on this yellow curry with the coconut cream. Actually, I'd love to, Sean. What we're going to be doing is a technique called cracking the coconut cream. Is we're going to get a screaming hot wok, and we're going to throw a couple tablespoons of natural coconut cream. No additives, no um, stabilizers or emulsifiers. Um, with a little bit of oil, and eventually, what will happen is the. Are you texting me right now? We're gonna have to cut that entire fucking scene. God damn it! <laughs> I'm just um, I can't. I lost my train of thought. <laughs> Who are you texting? I wasn't texting anyone. Essentially, what happens is the fat and the solids in the coconut cream separate, and that's when you'll add your curry paste and you'll fry the curry paste in actual coconut oil, if you will. The mic is literally right here, I'm and the fact that you're yelling <laughs> yeah. at the top of your lungs I'm yelling at Jose. <laughs> but who are you texting? No one. Okay. Okay. It's okay. Can you stop doing that thing with your fingers? Here, show what he does. He sits there all day long, and he'll just be like, I don't know what he's doing. It's keeping my hands occupied. Show that. I can admit that freely. Bit. You did that thing with the fingers again. Yeah, I can't help it. That's a nervous tick. Look at me, I'm a nervous tick. <laughs> okay. Um, okay, Jose. Get over here. So we got our oil here. Since we don't have any natural coconut cream. We're just gonna fry our paste right in this. Put two tablespoons there, give or take. You know when it's ready, once it's uh, fragrant. So 
So can you smell that, Jose? Can you smell that? So at this point, we're gonna add a bit of palm sugar. A lot of palm sugar. Tur turn the heat down a little bit. Um, the heat will sort of soften, soften this palm sugar. We'll be able to make it dissolve a little bit better. What we're gonna do is break up the little chunks here and caramelize the sugar with the curry paste, just for like a little bit of a, I guess like a bit more of a depth of flavor. You can see already how the color changes. It means the sugar is starting to caramelize. And it started, has that look of like a, a caramel. And we don't want it too dark. I like to crack this with a bit of fish sauce, just to sort of um, dissolve some of that sugar once it seizes up. Make it easier for when you add that coconut cream. At this point we're going to add a few pieces of star anise, cinnamon, and just kind of let those get aromatic. At this stage, oh, there it is. There we go. That's the money shot. Got that liquid gold starting. Now we're just gonna turn the heat down a little bit. Why are you yelling? Now we're just gonna turn the heat down a little bit and <laughs> talk like talk like Bob Ross. Mr. Rogers, Bob Ross. So now we're just going to turn the heat down low and put it on a gentle simmer. Paint, we're gonna paint little trees. It's a little so tree. This, the sauce will kind of tell you when it's done. The sauce will tell you. I turned down Madonna. Do you got pajamas? Stay in an echo, you promised it. Alright, we did it. <laughs> so, Jose, our timeline fits, uh, sells fake Yeezys and uh, whatever you want Adidas, yeah. Fendi, Prada, whatever. It's fake. That's where, I get all, that's where I get all my clothes. That's where he gets all his clothes from. Holding the camera right now, so. Check these. I got these for 30 bucks. Look how real they look. Cat leather. <laughs> Would you just look at that? Honestly. All right. So, we have this completely smooth uh, curry. We're gonna transfer this to a, another pot. We're gonna pass it through a chinois. It's going into another pot because uh, we need to do our final seasoning. Do you wanna, put, do you wanna plug your... Uh... Yeah, plug your fake website or whatever. Is it a website that you sell all this fake clothing on? Just take a look at that, man. Just take a look at it. That's the definition of a yellow curry. It's yellow. It's a bit hot. Try one. Um, fuck sakes, who are you texting, man? Who are you texting? If you don't want to be a part of this, like, just say so, man. I don't want to be a part of this. Too bad. <laughs> wow, just smell that. That smells. Smell it. Smell it. Oh my god, that's actually so good. Incredible. Reminds me of home. How does that remind you of home? Do you grow up in Thailand? No, but, um, cut. <laughs> <laughs> um, you really know how to steal the show, don't you? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yep. So we're gonna season this with, um, no comment. Man. All right, let's, let's plate this up, man. Uh, some caramelized lobster butter. So we're gonna gently heat the lobster up in this lobster butter. What we did is we took the shells and all the guts and everything and slowly simmered it and clarified the butter and caramelized the flavor of the lobster in it over the course of like three or four hours, 20, yeah, four or 48, five yeah, four or five days. Yeah, we're just gonna gently put this lobster in and then slightly uh, heat it up, you know what I'm saying? How about it's my turn and then, and then you can go. You, you need to know everything that's going on. Why are you so insecure? Me? I'm not insecure. What's the opposite of insecure? Secure? 
Yeah, yeah that's me. Why are you so secure, dude? Oh, fuck. It's like giving a newborn a sponge bath. Giving a newborn a sponge bath. That's a good one. Jose, stop shaking the camera, dude. Earthquake, earthquake. That's just Jose, man. His phone's going off like crazy because so many people want to buy fake Yeezys. It's like, vroom, 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 vroom. Camera's shaking. I just want to take you out. Reese, you are. <laughs> Back home, I'm ready. I'm All right. So let's get to it. In my experience with Thai cooking, uh, I've come to understand that a crucial part of Thai food is the seasoning. And Doesn't that go without saying for all food? But I think Thai food in particular, because of uh, they have pretty much four central seasonings. Lime juice, fish sauce, palm sugar, and tamarind water. And you kind of have to work to find a balance between all four. Not every Thai dish has all four ingredients, but that's sort of a, a central theme you'll find in curries and in seasoning. And it's quite difficult, I find, to actually balance and get it correctly. It's it's not like a, it takes a bit of practice to sort of balance everything out, but also, you know, you're working to your own taste. So um, it's important when you're seasoning your curries or anything for that matter that you're tasting it while you go. Yeah, goes without saying. So here we've seasoned it, um, our tamarind water, our fish sauce and palm sugar, and then we've added our lime juice right at the end. Don't put it back on the heat at that point. You want to keep. So I guess this is the spot where we lost all the audio. So we're just going to do a little voiceover. This is me talking. And uh, not to point any fingers or anything, um, it was Jose's fault. That's why we don't have audio. So yeah. So thank you, Jose. Uh, we're just laying down some sauce here. There's wow. a chunk of perfectly overcooked lobster <laughs> um, there's another one no gloves a few yeah. pieces of crispy That's shallot wow. oh look at those fingers those sausage fingers yeah. coming out of nowhere um delicately placing down some look at this plating some flowers that we picked this is where i distracted reese and replated everything that he put down <laughs> so, uh, uh, caramelized lobster butter we have our yellow curry there cilantro Crispy shallots. Wow. wow. Not bad, actually. Ah. All right, let's try it. And I'm going for the first bite here. Um, at this point, the entire dish is completely cold. Um, and yep, there's the bite. I'm, at this point, I'm feeling violently ill, um, but holding it together for the camera. And here I go. Um, <laughs> I actually really enjoyed it thoroughly. It was delicious. Um, yeah. Oh, here. Wow, oh, chemistry. Holy sh. That's insane. Um, this is kind of where we briefly disagree. talk about. Yeah. <laughs> we uh, disagree on pretty much a lot of our now we're in a core values. Yeah. And uh, now, a little celebration to uh, pat ourselves on the back as well as Jose in this filming. And uh, next one, there's Jose. Here's where he's briefly plugging his uh, fake shoe selling business, and then ruins the camera. And that's <laughs> about the, that's about it. Thanks for watching. See you later.